start with my brows so I'm using the M Cosmetics fine liner brow pencil and deep taupe as always yeah so I wanted to do a chit chat get ready with me to sort of give you guys an update on my life I know I've been away I haven't done an actual chit chat get ready with me since January I think but yeah I couldn't bring myself to film one because I was just feeling really down towards the beginning of quarantine it wasn't that bad like I was just trying to find ways to fill my time, so I was baking a lot. But then, I also wasn't going to the gym, and then I lost a lot of the progress that I had made. I feel like most people also were going through the same thing where they weren't feeling very confident in their bodies. It was just really upsetting because I had made so much progress right before quarantine because I was training for a half marathon. I think I was on week six of my training routine or training schedule when quarantine started and when my race got canceled. Oh no, I'm out. I think I have to switch. So I'm switching to the Revlon Colorstay Brow Creator in soft black. What I look for in brow pencils is usually something cool toned. So this isn't as light, like, these are sort of the same shade, but this one's a little darker, the Revlon one. So that's why I just have to use a lighter hand with it. Whereas with the M Cosmetics one, it's a little more forgiving. But both are still really great. Right before quarantine, I was training for a half marathon, and so I had lost a lot of weight. So when I started to gain weight during quarantine, it was very discouraging. And then when I started to see how I saw myself, like when I looked at myself in the mirror, I was just... It's kind of triggering to talk about because I've never had a really good body image. So I, yeah. It was to the point that I didn't even like looking at myself, so I didn't want other people to see me. And that's why it, it was just so hard for me to sit down and film. And I briefly went over it on Instagram where I said I just wasn't as confident. Um, I'm just gonna conceal my eyelids. I'm gonna use a very light shade of concealer. This is the Pony Effect Pro Fit Liquid Concealer in Ivory because um, I want this to be like a pastel -y eyeshadow look. As creatives, you don't really ever detach from your work and that can both be a good thing and a bad thing. And for me, it's most of the times, like, I love my job. It's something that I enjoy doing and I realize I'm very fortunate and privileged to be able to have the job that I have. But at the same time, I'm the type of person who and I feel like most people are like this, but when you feel like you're being productive, it's like one of the best feelings in the world. So usually when I have a problem in my life, I usually try to counter it by being productive. So whether that's work or, you know, working out or whatever, it just makes me feel like refreshed, you know? But because my job is also to be on camera, when I couldn't bring myself to get on camera, and then I also, my gym was closed, so I felt like I couldn't win, like everything was just going wrong. A lot of my friends had told me to take a social media break, and I deactivated actually at first for probably like, like one and a half days. And then I reactivated, but I kept the app deleted, just because I didn't want anybody to worry because I was getting comments on YouTube. You know, I have to remove this eye, because I think I didn't put enough concealer. I'm gonna reconceal this eye and then do it again because um, it's just like a little patchy. But yeah, before the social media break, I was like, oh yeah, you know, I, I just won't check the app that much. But it wasn't until I deleted the app that I realized how much I was checking it without even knowing. You're on autopilot, you just automatically scroll to open it. I have kombucha back on my VS. Did you guys know you can get drunk off of this? Like if I drink a whole healthy kombucha, I get Asian glow. It's so yummy though. But yeah, I've been feeling a lot better lately. Um, although I actually haven't posted much on Instagram since then, I've been on Twitter a lot more, like just reading up on things. I think Twitter is, I mean, obviously not always reliable, but there are just so many resources. You can just retweet so it spreads information faster. I'm gonna go into the NYX Escape Artist palette. And I'm using this pastel pink shade. I've been meaning to dig into this palette. No, I used 
this palette once for my Dalgona coffee makeup on Instagram. That's my cafe series. I'm just gonna put the pastel pink on the edge. Um, yeah, and so I'm back on my half marathon training schedule. I just completed week one. It makes me happy knowing that I'm back on a routine. Let's just do a regular smoked out winged liner. Let's smoke this out with a brown eyeshadow first and then we'll build it up with the purple one. Okay, let's use purple eyeshadow. Yeah, I think that pretty much covers where I've been and how I've been feeling. I did give a brief explanation of it on Instagram after I deactivated because some people were DMing me saying that they thought I blocked them or that something was wrong with my account. Yeah, I just went ahead and touched up on it. I'm very grateful everybody was so understanding. But yeah, what have you guys been up to? Have you picked up on any hobbies or started anything since quarantine? Um, oh, I started learning how to do my own nails. Cute, huh? It's poly gel. So I actually like made this shape by myself. It's still like, it could use a lot of work, especially around the cuticles. There's no other option right now. Cause press on nails just fall off too quickly. Which mascara should I use today? Let's use the YSL one. I haven't used this one in a while. Let's try J Lash. So I got this at the Rare Summit, a rare day. One of you guys actually worked at this company and you gifted this to me, so thank you. And I have not tried it, but I will try it now. Oh, these are cute. Oh wait, I kind of wanted to apply more eyeshadow. Yeah, okay, let's just apply the sparkly eyeshadow now. So there's Moon Crystal from Kaja. You guys know I love this one. There's the MAC eyeshadow liquid, which is what I used in my sketching video. Um, these are both pretty similar, except for this is more like pigmented, and then this is more like a light shimmer. And then there's also glitter injections, so I could apply this glitter. Let me swatch it actually. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that swatch is. This is feeling like a mermaid. That's really cute. I love this glitter placement. Okay, let's do lashes next. So these are J Lashes in Sadie. And then I'm using the Petite Lash Glue. So moving on to the face, I'm going to go in with my YSL primer. This is the Touche Eclat Blur Primer in silver. There's nothing really like this primer that I've tried before. Oh, my glitter chunks are getting everywhere. But yeah, there's nothing like this primer that I've tried before that's actually blurring and okay for dry skin. So ever since I started using this, I'm just so obsessed with it. Sorry if you guys see a bunch of random glitter chunks. It's, they were all over my fingers. But yeah, next I wanted to just talk about some things I'm grateful for because I feel like once you sort of remind yourself of what is going well in life, then it makes you feel less bleak about life and the world. So yeah, um, I'm going to mix my YSL All Hours Foundation with my Pat McGrath Labs one. And that's just because I think this one's a little too light for me. So I think this year, more than anything, I'm grateful for my health. It's something that you really take for granted until like now, If even if I cough, I'm just like very paranoid. I'm very grateful that my friends and family are all healthy. Is it still too light? I 
feel like it is. It's okay, we'll bronze it up later. Mm. Girl, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to work with this. Let's jump straight into the cream contour so that we can bronze. So lately I've been contouring with the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in Amber. This one. I'm grateful for you guys, obviously. You have all been so supportive during this time. So, very grateful for that. And then blend it out. I've gotten a lot closer to different friends throughout quarantine who I wasn't close to before and I'm really grateful for the connections I've made throughout quarantine because I feel like without this, even though it sucks that we're all going through this pandemic, um, before that, I, I mean, it's easy to take the people in your life for granted, right? Just some people who I never thought I would be close to, I am a lot closer to now. I don't know if you guys have been going through the same thing, but it's just, I don't know, it's kind of special. I want to do blush today, like a pastel pink blush from the Escape Artist palette again. And I'm just gonna dip into that pastel pink right here. I'm gonna dip into the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit. This is one of the best glittery highlighter palettes. So if you like like the subtle shimmer, which I love, um, this isn't for you though. This is very loose glitter chunks. Even if you like this subtle shimmer, a chunky highlighter is a must. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go into that purple one, which is ethereal. I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better setting spray. And then we're gonna smoke out the lower lash line. So let's go back into the purple shade, right? Hmm. Or should we dip into something else? I'm just getting too experimental because I haven't played with makeup in so long, but let's do... Yeah, let's just keep it monochromatic. Okay, I'm using the Il Maquillage 188 Cream Shader Brush. Going back in with the brow pencil, I'm gonna elongate my lower lash line. Let's curl our lower lashes. And then something I like doing lately is once you apply the mascara to your lower lashes, you pinch them together to create like just little separated sections. I'm going to bring back this little freckle. I kind of want the blush to have a little bit of a purple gradient. So I'm going to take the same eyeshadow. I'm going to apply it to the outer section. And then you can bring it up close to the eyeshadow as well. Moving on to lips, I'm using the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in O Snap. Let's try this Revlon lipstick. It's Untold Stories and it's like a muted pink shade. Mm, this shade is so pretty. Do we need gloss? No, I feel like the look is already pretty sparkly. I don't know. I feel like I have mentioned this before, but I like to use a brow pencil just to create the upturned, like emphasize upturned smile. 
This does go away pretty quickly. It's usually better if you want to do this to take pictures because otherwise it, like when you're talking or you're eating, it pretty much disappears. But it's just like a subtle difference. I'm so tempted to put on gloss right now. But I won't. I think that completes this look. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a really long time since I actually sat down and filmed a video where I was talking to you guys. So sorry if like I ended up not actually talking that much. Yeah, I just wanted to really get a few things off my chest about how I've been feeling and why I haven't been filming. And I know when I mentioned it on Instagram, a lot of you guys could relate, so hopefully you don't feel so alone. But yeah, thank you so much for still being here and still supporting me through this. I think that's all I have to say, so be safe everybody, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!